Hi, my name's Craig, and today we're going to do a little talking about microphones, okay? Now, a while back, I did a video on this microphone here, which is an MXL 990, okay? I purchased this microphone online, and it was less than $80. In fact, I think I paid $60 plus shipping for the mic. I think they're a little more now than, than that, but still you can get them for less than $100. Now, at the moment... I'm using both microphones at the same time. So my voice is going into both microphones and you're hearing both mics at the same time. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want you to get used to either of the, the sound of either of the microphones, okay? But we're gonna do a side-by-side, -side, back and forth comparison between the two. The reason I'm gonna do that is because a lot of people start out with the MXL 990, or they don't buy it because it's so inexpensive and they're worried that it doesn't not going to sound good. And so they'll opt out for a different, another style or another make or model of microphone. And a lot of people who are thinking about doing podcasts or taking their, their podcast to the next level opt for the MX, or sorry, the High LPR40, which is the one on this side. Um, this is, I'm borrowing this one uh, today so I can do this comparison. Um, the High LPR40 is a world renowned microphone. Uh, being used professionally in radio and in podcasting. And of course, it's quite considerably more expensive than the MXL 990, even though for what it does, it's still pretty inexpensive compared to some of the other microphones that professional radio stations use. So um, the, today I want to, I just want to show you um, the difference between these two and talk about, uh, obviously they're totally different styles of microphone, so the MXL 990 is a condenser mic. The element inside the uh, little capsule inside the microphone that picks up the sound is called a condenser. And um, I'm not going to go into how it works because I do have a, I already have a video on that, which I will put down below in the description if you want to see how these microphones work and how they differ that way. Um, it's a condenser microphone. It requires 48 volts DC uh, power in order to work. And that power comes from the mixer or the uh, preamplifier or whatever it is you have the microphone hooked up to. You can't just plug it straight into whatever it is you're using to record with. It has to have phantom power. Most modern mixers have phantom power built in anyway. It's a little button you push and boom, you've got your power for your microphone. Okay. And as you can see, it's a side firing microphone, which means you don't talk into the top of it. You talk into the front of it. Okay. Um, and you have to talk into the front. You can't talk into the back. It won't sound good. Okay. Um, and again, we're going to do a comparison here. We're going to show you how both of these things sound. Now, on the other side here, we have the Heil PR40 microphone. It's a dynamic microphone, which is as opposed to a condenser. Uh, a dynamic microphone doesn't, dynamic, sorry, microphone does not need any power at all. Um, you can plug it into anything and it will just work. So it's a bit of an advantage there. Um, as you can see, it's a top firing microphone, which means that you don't speak into the side of it or the front. You speak into the top. Okay. So you can see how you've, I've got them oriented and that's how the correct way to use both of these uh, microphones. Okay. Now, you know, the interesting thing is, is that these, what you're going to see in a few minutes is this, these microphones sound totally different. But what I want to try and prove here is that Although the MXL 990 is quite a bit less expensive than the Heil PR40, this is you're looking at about eighty to hundred dollars, and this one you're looking at over three hundred dollars without the shock mount with, that I've got uh, with this one here. Um, so it's quite a bit more expensive, but it's also a, a, a more a professional mic. Okay, but you know I want you to use your ears, and you decide which microphone actually sounds better. I've seen people ditch their MXL 990s for the Heil PR40 because um, a lot of guys like Leo Laporte and other uh, really um, uh, popular uh, podcasters use the Heil microphone. And so a lot of people who are sort of amateurish getting into podcasting, they look up to these people and they say, hey, you know, I want to use what Leo uses. I want Leo's microphone. You know, that's the one I want. It looks cool. And uh, that's what I, that's what everyone's using. So that's what I want. But is it really necessary for you to spend the extra money 
on that microphone? I'm not going to answer that question for you. It's up to you to decide. Okay, so now we're going to do a comparison. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to switch to just the MXL 990 right now. Okay, so now we're using just this microphone. Okay, I'm going to get in real close. I've got a pop filter here so I don't damage them or spin into them or anything like that or get any pops. Okay, and again, they're both set up exactly the same way in the mixer. I have not got any differences in the equalization or anything like that. It's all flat, just a little bit of compression to take off the, um, the peaks so I don't distort. Now, you can hear the MXL 990 now, and it sounds pretty good. It's got a fairly smooth sound, um, and it's quiet. Uh, I mean, there's not a lot of background noise or anything like that. Now, you will find that these condenser microphones do pick up more background noise than these dynamic uh, ones, especially the Heil, which is specially designed to um, block background noise. Okay, so I'm just getting you used to the sound of the MXL 990. Again, it's not very expensive, and uh, you can get them online for 80 bucks or something like that. And, um, you know, it's a good mic. It's the one I use, and uh, I don't see a thing wrong with it at all. Okay, now... Let's switch to the Heil PR40 microphone. So I'm going to talk, and I haven't switched yet. I'm talking into the MXL 990, and now we're going to switch over to the Heil PR40 right now. So now we're talking into the Heil PR40 microphone. This one's turned off, and now this one is the one we're using. Now you can hear a bit of a difference there. It's got a little more of a crystally, crystalline sound, um, slightly smoother bottom end. A little more aggressive uh, in the speech. You can hear that. S -s 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 -s. You can hear that that frequency there that kind of jumps out at you. Um, we're going to take a look at the frequency response curve for those of you who um, are sort of technically minded and into this kind of uh, into this technical stuff. The frequency response for the Heil PR40 looks like this. Now you can see on the left hand side there that it starts to come up around 50 hertz which is the low frequencies, the real low stuff, the bass, you know, stuff like that. And uh, then it goes along and it, at around 5 kilohertz, which is that, that, that sibilance kind of frequency, it starts to go up. And it goes up considerably until it hits about 10 kilohertz, which is the really high stuff, really, really high frequencies like cymbals and things like that. And then it drops off quite rapidly. And so that is the high LPR 40 frequency response curve. Now, in contrast to that, we're going to switch back to the MXL 990, and we're going to do that right now. So now we're back to the MXL 990. Now, I've tried to match the levels of these microphones the best I can, but if you feel that one is louder than the other, then just use your volume control to try and equalize them out. Now we're going to take a look at the frequency response of the MXL 990 microphone. And uh, as you can see... Um, it, it's got more, it's got more of a flat response, which kind of peaks up around in 10 kilohertz and, and above. So you can kind of hear, and we're going to switch back and forth many more times. So you guys can really get a, a good AB comparison. Um, you can kind of hear that the 990 has a sm kind of a smooth sound to it, sort of a silky sound. And that's characteristic of most condenser microphones. Um, they do have that that kind of sound to them. Uh, these condenser microphones are mostly used for, um, you know, recording vocals or musical instruments. And um, generally, they're not used for radio. <clears throat> we're going to switch back to the MX... Sorry, we're going to switch back to the Heil PR40 microphone right now. Okay, so now we're speaking into the Heil microphone. You know, and I can hear this through my headphones. And even when I get from one microphone to the other, I find myself changing the style of speech. Um, when I speak into the Heil microphone, I find that I can, I, I, I tend to smooth out my voice a little bit more. It sounds more like a radio microphone. And when you're hearing that in your headphones, that tends to influence the way you speak. Um, now, this microphone is not made for recording vocals or musical instruments. It's definitely more of a speech-friendly microphone, more for radio broadcasting and podcasting, okay? And you, you can hear that quality that it has. Um, 
I'm kind of running out of things to say. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of the different differences between the two. So now I'm going to switch back from the Heil PR40 back to the MXL 990 right now. And now we're speaking into the MXL 990 again. So you guys can kind of hear the difference between the two. They definitely have their characteristics. Now, to me, my voice sounds more like my voice through the MXL 990, but that could just be because of, because I'm used to that microphone. I've heard my voice through it many times, and I, I I feel as though that's how my voice is supposed to sound. Okay, but to other people, it might not be the case. We're gonna switch back to the Heil PR40 microphone right now. So now we're back on the Heil PR40. You can definitely hear the difference, and um, I think the point I wanted to prove here is that. You know, if you don't have the money for the Heil microphone, I mean, I'd love one of these things myself. You know, it does have a distinct sound. And uh, you may like it and you may not, uh, you know. Um, personally, I would buy one if I could afford it. You know, $300 plus is a little bit of money. But what you have to consider is that microphones with comparable sound quality to this are thousands of dollars sometimes, or $1,000 anyway. Um, and so, um, you know, if you're really looking for a professional radio microphone, um, you can't beat the price of the Heil mic, you know, at 300 and something dollars or whatever it is, depending on where you get it, you know. Okay, we're going to switch from the Heil back to the MXL 990 right now. So now we're back on the MXL 990. You know, for less than $100, say 80 bucks, you got a pretty decent microphone here. And if you can't afford... 300 plus dollars uh, for a mic, then I, I would really recommend it. Um, it's a great microphone. I've had no problems with mine, and I know at least a dozen other people personally, I know them, that have bought the mic and, um, and like it. As a matter of fact, the, the, the fellow that owns this microphone, who is a professional audio engineer musician, also owns one of these. And uh, he, he swears by it. He said it's a damn good mic. Okay, so I just wanted to do this. Some people are switching from this microphone to this microphone and thinking that they're making this big jump. I'm not sure that's the case. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We're going to switch back to the high LPR 40 right now. Now we're on the high LPR 40. Okay, I know this video is a little boring and long, but I just want to make sure that you guys have the opportunity to hear the difference between the two and what it is that you're paying for when you when you buy the Heil as opposed to the MXL 990. Personally, I think they both sound great. Well, I hope this video has helped you guys. I'm now going to switch back to the MXL 990 right now. And there's the MXL 990, and there's the Heil PR40, okay? MXL 990, Heil PR40. And that's the difference, okay? Not sure how interesting this video is going to be to my normal viewers. There's, we're back to the MXL 990 again. But uh, I just thought this is something that I would put out there for those of you who are looking for a mic and you want the Heil microphone, but you can't afford it. You're not going to go wrong with this microphone we're using right now, which is the MXL 990. Now, I, I can get in real close to this mic and it sounds nice. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Nothing at all. Okay. Now we're on the Heil microphone and I can get real close on it too. And it sounds nice as well. They've got different distinct sounds um, and uh, definitely depending on what your application is um, you know you need to decide which one you prefer and which one you have the money for All right well I want to thank my friend um, Rich for for lending me this and letting me do this comparison I hope this was interesting for you guys and uh, like I said right now we're talking into this microphone here one more time I'll switch back to the MXL 990 and there we have it and that's what it sounds like in comparison. And of course, you can beef these, thing, these things up if you want on your mixer. Uh, like this, you know, you can take the MXL, you can beef up the high end and, and the bottom and stuff, like make it sound real beefy. And you can do this, you can do the same thing with the Heil microphone. Here we're in the Heil right now, we can beef up the Heil, bring up some nice bottom end on it and do that to it as well. You can do that with both these mics. So you're, you know, you're not stuck with uh, what they sound like when they come out of the box. Although 
I think the Heil mic basically out of the box sounds fantastic. You don't have to do anything to it. Okay. And that's the Heil microphone on the Heil PR40 on the left on the on my left here. And on my right, again back to the MXL 990. Sounds good out of the box too. They just have different distinct sounds. So that's it. Okay, guys. Well, I hope this helped you decide which type of microphone you want to buy. And I hope for some people, maybe it proved to you that if you own one of these and you really want one of these, well, you really have to decide whether it's worth the extra money. And um, I think for some people it is, and, and for some people, maybe not. Depends on what you're using. I know myself, I, I won't be buying one of these right now um, because I don't really have a professional application for it. Uh, I'm going to switch back to the Heil again. Um, but if I was doing professional voiceovers, I would strongly consider buying one. I think it's a great mic. I think having both of them is a good idea because uh, then you can pick and choose which, which mic you're going to use for which application. So anyways, thanks guys for watching. I hope this helped. Links down below to how these microphones work, the differences between them technically. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and all that stuff if you like the video. And if you know somebody who's looking for a mic, you can certainly um, uh, recommend this video to them. And there's lots of other microphones out there and reviews on YouTube uh, of them. So you can listen to people talk into these things. I just didn't see anything on YouTube of a comparison between a budget microphone and a sort of pro microphone. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Take care.